Hey guys, it is the Daily Moogle here, and welcome to Avion Gates of Night. I, I had to say that slowly and carefully because I'm so used to saying Avion Lord of Twilight. I gotta like switch gears now. It's like when you were in school and the year changed, you know, like from 2005 to 2006 or whatever, and you had to get used to writing 2006 on all your papers. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the game. So, you can actually start this game as a new, like, a, uh, from a new save file. And, um, it's sort of a little bit confusing because, you know, if you're given both options, you would think there'd kind of be some issues with starting a brand new game. And I actually didn't mean to click that, so god damn it. Okay, never mind. I realize this is actually fine because it gives you the option to, um, still load your, your game from, uh, Lord of Twilight. So if you say no here, you will start a brand new game. And what happens is um, it's it works basically the same way from what I can tell. There's just a lot of things that aren't carried over. Like you won't have all your money or your items or equipment. Um, I think even things like all of the Magic Mirror Expresses aren't activated. Things of that nature. But the one thing I did notice is that your characters start at uh, a moderate experience level. Because that's one thing I was afraid of with starting a new file here. It's like, well, how does it work if all your characters are, like, you know, level one or whatever, and you're already having to visit these, like, more high-level areas? It, it seemed like you'd have to do a lot of grinding right off the bat. But it, it takes care of that by just, you know, your characters start at a good level already. Not as good a level as if you played Lord of Twilight, so it's not like, you know, you feel cheated if you did do all the grinding in the first game, but... Um, anyway, so yes, I do want to continue from the previous chapter. And then here's my save files from before. Um, and I'm actually going to load the first one. Um, the video that I played and uploaded was save two. But save one actually went a lot better in the battle against hepatitis. So I'm going to pick that one. And it's a different introduction. It's the same intro whether you start a new game or not. But it's a different one from Lord of Twilight, so we definitely want to check this out. So we recognize this is Stella getting chased by vampires. And I'm not sure if this takes place during the events of the last game, or if this is, like, something new. Because what's going to happen in a second here, I guess you'll see. You're rolling, this is not finished. Roland what? You cannot use me? I'm worthless now. No, not completely. Goodbye, moth. Well, if she's not useless, then why'd you just push her off the cliff? But anyway, yeah, I'm wondering if this is the point where... You remember, just before we discovered Stella... Well, we saw something fly through the sky, and then when we found her, she was like, Yeah, I just fell out of the sky from nowhere. So I wonder if this is what we're now witnessing... Maybe. So this is sort of like a flashback to maybe, you know, the middle of Lord of Twilight-ish. But I'm excited about this. I'm glad the story... I mean, the story obviously wasn't complete. But I'm excited to be able to play more of uh, Avion 3. <laughs> like, I was saying uh, in my comments, one game was not enough. So Stella's having a bad dream, huh? Oh, it's just a dream. Okay, it wasn't an actual sequence. So it's just a nightmare, I guess. The king and the others are waiting for us. Come, we mustn't delay. God, that sounds pretty regal for uh, coming out of Mel's mouth. But yeah, if you remember, we left off on our way back to Thias to talk to uh, the king and queen. So that's where we're picking up here. And I'm going to go ahead and do normal mode again. I'm still not going to chicken out and do easy, and I'm, I'm not comfortable with doing expert mode, to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to stick with normal. My troubles began when I stole the Orb of Darkness for Gyandal, a vampire known as Lord of Twilight. So yeah, this little diary sequence here is uh, more or less not necessary if you played Lord of Twilight. This is kind of just... Honestly, if you're playing Gates of Night without playing Lord of Twilight, this is kind of just a quick 
update of the story to kind of get you caught up in a really small nutshell. So here's Edward. Mel, what took you so long? The king is getting impatient and Tejal is starting to bare her fangs at anything that moves. What's your excuse, Stella? It was the dream again. I did not sleep well. I suppose it doesn't matter. We must talk with my father. Yeah, stop complaining and let's just get a move on. Edward. The creature is eyeing the king's neck. Do not listen to my husband. He's still angry over our dispute. <laughs> what? Yeah. Is it kind of risky having those two here in the... the palace? I mean, they're from the underworld. And the king's like, yeah, who are these people? Father, these are my friends. We have come to ask for your help. Very well, what do you need? We need to leave the mainland. It's a long story, but we need to find some relics and bring them to a place called Nalith Summit. So he says, you must head to Stormbend and talk to a ship merchant there. And yeah, if you remember, they have a pirate problem going on. So the king suggests, give the pirates something new to fight about away from the village. And then when they're gone, I'm sure the ship merchant will sell you a ship. But before we leave... Yeah, we have to remember, Hepatitis already stole one of the quarter keys that we found. And by the way, we will find all four quarter keys in this game. Uh, from what I could tell from watching the trailer. Oh, the king actually knows about Hepatitis, huh? Unfortunately, your mother and I had the displeasure of meeting her many years ago. Take care, you would not fare in a battle. You would not fare well in a battle against Heptitis. Yeah, a little late for that suggestion. Luckily, she didn't finish the job. She just, uh. I don't know, we injured her enough for her to run away, and that's about it. By the way, I'm back home now since the game decided to freeze for a moment. <laughs> So, Disney Disney World was really good, um, but yeah, we're, we're all back home now, kind of relaxing a little bit more after our vacation, you know? Here's Lydia. Oh, God. Lydia, the freaking uh, spoiled brat. <laughs> yeah. Well, we must go now. I expect you to bring home a wife when you return from this mad quest of yours. Yep, that's right. And this little part right here kind of makes me suspect that, um, like, in Lord of Twilight, I didn't know what I was doing, and I know you guys let me know, you know, when you have an option to, like, give flowers to somebody or sing a song. There's some NPCs in each town that'll do that kind of thing, and then it'll let you choose which person in your party you want to, like, give the flowers to or sing the song to. I've been choosing Edward for everything just because I thought it was funny, but apparently this influences who his wife ends up being. And I think if his parents pick for him, I have a feeling it's going to be Lydia. Like, just based on that little dialogue right there that happened and the way that she stopped walking when the queen was saying that. Alright, so anyway. We need to make our way to Witchwood and Stormbend. We need to try to get our quarter key back and then deal with the pirates and get a ship. So there you go. That is the uh, first mission impossible. So I do have a guide for this game as well. And it was a little bit confusing to read at first because, you know, there are differences in the game, whether you start a new file or you load one from Lord of Twilight. Like... So I'm trying to kind of have to read through, like, okay, I don't have to do that, I have to do this. You know, this part doesn't apply to me, blah, blah, blah. But I, uh, before I go in, I already went in, but before I go any further, this museum was just being built in Lord of Twilight, and now it's finished. So we can actually go in here, and there's nothing going on yet. This guy says, this is a boring museum, there's nothing in here. But if we talk to Walt here... He's going to actually give us a side quest. Where are the artifacts? 
Oh dear, is it that noticeable? Yeah, why did you open the museum if you have nothing to show? You know, whatever. But basically, we're tasked with finding interesting artifacts to bring back for this guy. And he says he'll give us a book of powerful spells. So it might actually be worth it. So, that's a little side quest that we picked up. It is it is in our journal. Um, and we do also have some leftover quests from before, which, you know, things that we couldn't do in the first game anyway. So, like, here's the one that we just added. Uh, we gotta bring... Yeah, get the four quarter keys. This is to get the one back that was stolen from us. And then this is about uh, the pirate problems. So those are still remaining. Um... So, other than going in the museum there, there's one other thing I want to do in Thias, which is new. And, uh, let's see, it's... Let me go actually check Mel's mailbox before I do this. Okay, cool, there is a letter addressed to Mel. Death begins at 40. Enclosed is our introductory coffin range for the newly deceased. We hope to see you soon, Herb's Coffin Shop. <laughs> More junk mail. I love it. But I wanted to do that first because if we come down here to the rental agency, we can actually trade in our crummy apartment for a frickin' mansion. How about that? So the, t the current tenant at Pemberley Keep was thrown into prison, and this guy is, you know, trying to rent it out to somebody else, I guess. But he can't just give it to us. We actually have to pay 10,000 gold coins for it, which is okay because I have about twice that much. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And then uh, the game's gonna freeze for a few more moments here, but um, you don't have to do this right now, but there is a reason that you'll wanna do it uh, later on. So it's it's kinda just a, you know, whenever you feel like spending that much money kind of a thing. I'm comfortable with doing it now, so whatever. And then yeah, if we actually run over to Mel's apartment again, we can no longer go in. It says it's for rent. So that's kind of a bummer. I mean, not a bummer, but it's like, man, we had that apartment for so long, and now it's somebody else's. And then what I want to do is go over here and... Actually, there's one other thing I forgot, and it's right here. I'm glad I walked by. If you talk to this guy, Matt, he says, Hey, I recognize you. You're one of the greatest students. Uh, Professor Gray from the School of War and Magic, remember. Uh, and if we pay him 50 gold, which is not that much, especially compared to what we just spent, he'll actually teach Mel a new skill to use in battle. Chicken dance. And um, I haven't had the opportunity to try this out, so I don't actually know what it does, but it says it makes the enemy party clumsy with a silly dance. <laughs> So it's it's supposed to be useful, but I guess we'll um we'll see. So this is it, right? No, that's Lord Rupert. Oh no, Pemberley Keep was uh the one the one that we had to go into before. No, no, it wasn't. Sorry, I'm getting confused. This one? Yeah, I guess so, because here's more junk mail. <laughs> I already got another one at the new address. Man, they move fast. Coffin Buyers Monthly with compliments, Herb's Coffin Shop. All right. So this is our new place. Check this out. Look at this. This is huge. Promise me when this when this is over that you'll still be my friend, even though I'll be king and confined to the castle. You make it sound like a death sentence. It sure feels like one. My husband refuses to eat. He looks so malnourished. Actually, he looks pretty healthy to me. He isn't pale and his eyes aren't bloodshot. Yeah, but that's, that looks bad to a vampire, I guess. Hello, Mel. You look nice today. Aw, oh, thanks. Thanks. Exactly how many times have you tried to escape from your wife? Too many times to remember. One day I will succeed. <laughs> I, like, I have to assume that maybe this whole thing with them is, like, it's kind of a play on, like, an actual marriage, you know what I mean? Like, they're just trying to get away from each other, like, they hate each other, but they're just stuck together. 
kind of a thing. Except they have a, uh, a whole vampire aspect to it. So, anyway, I don't know, I don't, I'm just kind of checking out my new place. You see a mirror. Really? <laughs> is that what that is? Oops. Every time you walk into a bed by accident, you go to sleep. Okay, cool. There, yeah, there's nothing you can really do in here. I just wanted to check it out. But, um... <laughs> I believe that's all I want to do in Thias for now. You know, there's a lot of the same NPCs that say the same stuff. Um... I guess the one thing I didn't check out is the item shop. To see if maybe there's some new items that they have for sale or something. No, but this looks like all the same stuff. Of course, I did chew through a lot of my healing items, so I'll have to restock those at some point. Probably go buy some more pumpkin pies when I'm at Witchwood. But, um, hmm. Alright, I guess that's all I want to do right now. I'm going to head to the Magic Mirror Express. And I'm just going to save my game right here. And cut it right here, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this was a good, you know, intro to the new game. And um, I hope to see you guys in the rest of the videos. And uh, for those of you that have played this game before, there's probably a lot of you. You can kind of reminisce, have some nostalgia going on. And uh, hopefully I can maybe help some new people discover the game and try it out as well. Um, so again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye-bye. Oh, one more thing I wanted to show. This is uh, what the screen looks like um, when you start a new save file. So you can see kind of the levels that it starts you off at uh, as far as all your party members are concerned. So yeah, just wanted to show that real quick too. So there you go.